these two pages are duplicates these two pages here these are duplicates the privacy is duplicates so i recently onboarded a client and this client had been uh, referred to me by one of the people who i previously worked with uh, and the and the client had uh, now i didn't know this at that time but this was this was one of the largest e-commerce businesses in uh, north africa and one of the things that they wanted me to do was as an, as to see if i was really as good as um, they were being told was if I, if I could find um, duplicate pages on their website. And so they said if I could find all the duplicate pages on their website, which means duplicate content on the website, um, they would you know, hire me to do their SEO um, and it would be a uh, very good, uh, let's say, a consultation fee that I would be entitled to, but only if I would if only if I was able to demonstrate that I could find these duplicate pages. Um, and so now, even though I didn't notice at that time, but when I, when I opened up the website and I started researching, this website literally had like 10 to 15,000 pages. Um, and so just scanning through the pages would be not possible. And so what I did was I went ahead and I ran Screaming Frog and Screaming Frog took like three hours to go through the to the website and it found 800 duplicate pages. Um, I went ahead, I made a list of the pages and I sent it to the client and today I just signed with them and it is like the largest, uh, my second largest client now that I have and all I did was I showed that I could solve the problem that they had which was duplicate content and basically they were using programmatic, programmatic SEO um, or to generate those pages for every new product and variations of products. And Google was not uh, being very kind to them. And so a lot of their stuff was, a lot of the products were not showing on Google search. And so they had to spend on advertising and the Google Merchant Center. So um, now that I've been hired to do their SEO, and I've also been talking about, you know, using Screaming Frog to find duplicate content. So this video is going to be about how to use Screaming Frog to find duplicate content on any size website. Um, so guys, as always, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Okay, so um, this is Screaming Frog right here. And as you can see, we need the licensed version of Screaming Frog to run this. The free version does not have this feature enabled. Um, so what we'll do here is there's a menu. I think this is not visible in the screen that I've shared but I'll just go ahead and maximize this. Um, okay, maybe not maximize it. So let me just keep this at that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, and I'm gonna go to configuration. So it's configuration, content, um, duplicates, and I wanna enable near duplicates. Um, just make sure that both of these are, are enabled. Um, and so the one at the top, mainly you need this enabled because um, you don't want to be uh, scanning uh, duplicates that are canonicalized so if the links are canon canonicalized they probably um, you don't need those to be scanned or shown as duplicates you only want the ones that are not canonicalized to be um, shown and also near duplicates um, is mainly if you're looking at oh you know, uh, content that does not have, uh, let's say, uh, 100% uh, the same. So even if, even if there's a two, two or three characters that are different, it will show up as not as non duplicates or near duplicates. So the reason why I do this is because I want to find um, pages that are near duplicates. Because what happens is sometimes when people are using programmatic SEO, um, 10 to 15 percent of the of the content of the page will change. Uh, like maybe a description for the product will be a little different, but the description of the product itself, the way it's written will be um, the same. So what I like to do is I like to put this at 80% um, or even like 70%, but 80% I've found that is the best way to go forward. And I'll go ahead and click OK. So go ahead and click OK. We'll go to... Okay, so once this is set up, we will now scan the BBC website, which is www.bbc.co.uk. We'll go ahead and scan this right here. And 
in the meantime, what I'll show you guys is we want to go to content just really, really quick. So we'll go to content. We'll click here um, on a small screen. So you're going to have to bear with me over here. So when I, once I go to content, I can also go to content over here. And I want to go to um, exact duplicates. So this will show me all the exact duplicates that it has, it has pulled up so far. It also over here, if you navigate to the right, it shows me near duplicates. Um, and it also shows me a message that says, please, um, okay, where is the message? Please perform crawl analysis in order to populate this filter. So um, I'll go to how we can do this over here. And as you can see, I'll just let this scan for a while. Uh, maybe like 10 to 15 minutes see what it pulls up and then i uh, will go ahead and show you what how to run a crawl crawl analysis and how to duplicate pages um, up here okay so i've gone ahead and let this run for a while go ahead and pause this it's at eight percent crawl um and so right here on the left it shows us all the near duplicates so these two pages are duplicates these two pages here these are duplicates, the privacy is duplicates. The privacy policy can be duplicate. Now, these are exact duplicates. So every char character, every piece of HTML is the same. And what Screaming Frog does, it's, it uses this hash, hash comparison. So it creates, creates a hash for each page and compares the hash. So these are like 100% duplicates. Now you're not gonna run into many 100% duplicates, but you're gonna run into in the real world are new du near duplicates. So here we have the near duplicates, which is not populated. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to run a crawl analysis. We'll go to the top right here, it says crawl analysis. We'll hit configure, and we need to make sure that all of these are clicked. And we go ahead and click OK. And right here in the progress bar, it's, it, will, um, it will go ahead and start uh, running a crawl analysis. We'll go ahead and here, and we'll start crawl analysis and it shows you analysis and now it has pulled up all of these pages so right on top if we start over here so this is a 100 percent closest match um this is your near duplicate so what what we want to see is that all these pages over here these are all you know 100 percent matches um you see they have a different url structure so this is a different url structure so you so these are all different urls but they have the same content and it's a close similarity. It's a hundred percent. So these are, um, and what Google and what screaming frog is doing, it's looking at the text of the page for the near duplicates and not the HTML. So this is just a text comparison, not a coding comparison. So just, just, just keep that in mind. So this is what, this is what we need. And what we can do here is we can click on one of these links and we can go down here and I'll just need to minimize the screen a little bit. And on the bottom here are these tabs. And what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and we want to click on duplicate details and just click here. And so when we click on one of these links, so if I click here, it shows me, let me go ahead and maximize the screen. So showing me this home page, it says home page, so you can see, and it also shows me how these pages are different. So if I scroll down, you see the one over in the red, so this is different, it says not America. So as I said, just a little bit of the text has been changed, um, but otherwise the content on the page is the same. I'll look at the next link over here, and it's the same. So these are mainly regional pages for the BBC. But this is duplicate content and the bbc can probably get away with it but you know a small website like ours probably can so we want to watch out for these kind of things and even larger websites get penalized um the other thing that is of importance when you're looking at these duplicate pages is i want to show you just one thing real quick is the low content here so these are low content pages if you click here um there's a list of pages that have low content. So 145 words, 186 words, 176 words. Now, usually you don't want pages like these, except for if you have a contact us page or some of the pages that are, you know, or even the categories page. 
Um, but usually I'm not in favor of having low content pages. So it shows all of these pages that are uh, indexable and it's low count. So my suggestion to the BBC would be is to take a closer look at these links right here and fix them, add more content to them, make sure they're at least, uh, yeah, you know, maybe at like uh, 500 words at least, even if they're category pages. Um, and so that is how you do a uh, bulk uh, duplicate content uh, scan on a large website. And this works pretty well. This is like 80 to 90% accurate. But I will also um, ask that you take a closer look at the content itself, you know, open up each URL because sometimes they can be false positive. Now, finally, um, once you have these near duplicates, you want to export all of these links. So we go to bulk export scroll down here we go to content we go to near duplicates and you can export this as a csv file and once you're done um, you can go ahead and send this off to your client or uh, open this up for a further analysis using other tools so as you can see screaming frog is one of them I, I think this is one of the best tools you can invest in this is not a lot of money i'm not an affiliate but if you have this tool there's a lot you can achieve I will be, I will have like a series of uh, videos talking about uh, various functionalities of Screaming Frog and how you can practically use it from an SEO standpoint. And so guys, if you like the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.